That's quite another question I have for you is like, how do you find the differences between like you train MMA fighters like GSP and things, and how do you find the difference between MMA fighters and boxers? It's well, when you're a boxer, it's much much easier to because MMA there's so many different stunts and there's so many different uh, different uh, disciplines. There's so many. I mean, there's Jiu Jitsu, there's a uh, Muay Thai, there's uh, Karate. It takes time. It takes time to make the adjustment. Just the way they stance, like the Wonder Boy, for example. Him, when he's moving, he's like a grasshopper. He's jumping in and out all the time. The Wonder Boy, you know, he's a left hander. He's jumping in and out, and he's, you know, he's, he's moving. You know, so it's it's a part of the Karate, you know, uh, and moving. It, it, he's he's doing this to set up kicks, I think. But it works, uh, you know. I mean, it's just to have the the firm of mind to uh, able to adapt or to comp uh, compromise, uh, you know. So it's it's all the same uh, sporting. But with with myself boxing, I I try to show them, you know, you have to have your hands up, you have to turn on the shot, you have to pivot on this shot, you have to throw this way, you know. It's, uh, well, that must be so hard for Wonder Boy because he was saying he keeps his hands down for balance, right, for that movement. And uh, the only times he's been in trouble in his career is because his hands were too low, you know. But most of the time, he's really successful. But it's kind of, you know, which one do you do, right? The first rule that they tell you in boxing is this. Yeah. <laughs> I think many, yeah. many... Break your hands up. You got to keep your hands up. Because listen, what's going to protect your face? You got to keep your hands up. And you got to keep your elbows in line with your leg. Because if your ribs are open and the guy's a good body punch, you're done. You know what I mean? So, yeah, you got to keep your hands up all the time. You know, it's like saying, okay, how are you going to play hockey without having shin pads? So what was it like working with him and his hands were always down? <laughs> ah, you try, you try your best to tell him, keep your hands up and keep reminding, reminder, reminder, reminder all the time. You know, you know Wonder Boy was good. Was, he's still, well, he was good. The guy's good. He's good. He's still, com he's still competing, yeah? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Still he in is. the UFC, yes? He's one of the best. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, the guy's good, you know. And uh, you have another guy from out to your side too, Rory McDonald. He was also good. Mm -hmm. It seems like uh, everybody, if if you're in Montreal, they go, they got to go through the Grant brothers in uh, in terms of boxing. Everybody, you had Latorno, you had David Loazzo. Loazzo was the first one. Yeah, David Loazzo was, was the first the, one that came. David first. the Crow, right? The Crow, yeah, he was the yeah. first guy. Most of the fighters that come, they train at TriStar. They train at uh, Farasa TriStar. But when they when they would come to my place, like I would do pads with them. They come to spar with some. At that time, I had a lot of guys. They come to spar with some of my guys, and uh, that 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 was basically it. You know, different work, different styles, different uh, aggressiveness. You know, not all the fighters are the same. You, they, you know, you have one the boy that has his own style. Then you have a. I had Stevenson there train. I had Josh Austin there train. I had my brother who was a fight. So these guys were getting all this kind of different work. High level, high level sparring. We say really appreciate it. You know what I mean? Jerry Tremble. Yeah, Jerry Tremble was a bad motherfucker. Golden boy. That's what they call Atlanta's Jerry Tremble. He hails from Vancouver, British Columbia.